Right then, open Internet Explorer, open some tabs, make some favourites, and try and figure out how I do all of those things. Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Windows 8 Out of the Box from O'Reilly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new Internet Explorer web browser in Windows 8. Ok, so let's have a look at how we use Internet Explorer in Windows 8. Now you'll probably recognise the address bar at the bottom of the screen where you can just type a web address and go to that website. To the left of that is a back button, and to the right of it is a page refresh button. There are some other buttons which uh, I'll show you how to use shortly. So you can just type a web address and go straight to that website. If you want to go to a different website then click or tap in the address bar and either type another web address or Windows 8 will show you a uh, list of websites that you visit frequently. Now Internet Explorer in Windows 8 still supports tabbed browsing in the way that every other web browser does and Internet Explorer previous versions have and you open the tabs by opening the app bar and you'll see your tabs appear at the top of the screen. You can close a tab by pressing the X in the top right corner of the tab thumbnail or you can open another tab by pressing the plus button in the top right corner of your screen. Opening a new tab will reveal an empty address bar or a list of frequent, frequently used websites. And again, if you want to switch between tabs, just open the app bar and click on the tab you want to select. So how do you add a website to your favourites list and how do you save it so you can come back to it later? Well, you do this by opening the app bar and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a pin icon. If you click or tap this, uh, a little pop-up menu will appear and you've got two options. You can either add this website to your favourites list or you can add it to your favourites list and pin it to the start screen. If you um, add it to your favourites list, it will appear in the list of websites um, when you visit, uh, when you click in the address bar and if you pin it to the start screen, um, it will appear there and on the start screen. So let's pin it to start and we'll have a look at both options. So we pinned it to start and it's going to ask us what we want to call it. So we'll leave it at that name, but we can change that name and edit it if we want. So we'll pin that. Now, when we click or tap in the address bar, we have a pinned website here and you'll see that on the start screen, we now have an icon for that website so we can jump straight to that website when we want to without having to go into Internet Explorer first. If we want to, to save a website as a favourite, say YouTube for instance, we can press the pin button and add to favourites and click that and the next time we click in the address bar we now have our pinned website and we have our favourite website. When you save a website as a favourite it will also save it as a favourite in the desktop version of Internet Explorer and more on that in a minute. So let's have a look at some of the other things that you can do in Internet Explorer in Windows 8. Now on the app bar in the bottom right of the screen there is a wrench icon, a page tools icon and if you click on that it will enable you to uh, load an application for that website if such an app exists such as Bing or Facebook you can search for anything you want on that web page or you can uh, click or tap view on the desktop and it will open that web page in the desktop version of Internet Explorer instead and this can be useful for websites that require a plugin um, that um, the full version of Internet Explorer in Windows 8 doesn't support. In the app bar at the top of the screen you will see underneath the add a new tab button there's a tab tools uh, button and if you click this then there are two options here. You can close all but the current 
uh, web tab and this will clean them up or you can open an in private tab so what's in private well in private mode is a special mode in internet explorer which doesn't keep a record of any websites that you've been to it doesn't track anything and this can be especially useful and is probably most useful for um, shopping for presents for people online around birthdays and holidays because they can then use Internet Explorer and not know what you've been looking at. Lastly, you'll see in the main uh, page when you're uh, viewing a web page, you'll see to the left of the screen a little arrow there and you can use that to return to the web page that you viewed previously. You can find much more information, including how to keep yourself and your family safe online in my book, Windows 8 Out of the Box from O'Reilly. I hope you found this video useful. And for now, from me, Mike Halsey, at The Long Climb, and with music from Kevin Levy, thank you for watching.